Hey folks, Jihondo here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. This is episode 29. As you can see here, we are just about done building what's effectively going to be a, a space-based slushy machine, so that should be exciting. Hoping it works. And we are almost done down here, getting the natural gas guys are ready to go. All we need is a bit more steel. Uh, as you may or may not have noticed in the last episode, this silly thing stole all my steel. So I've gone ahead and disabled it, so that won't happen again. Now we just need to wait either for the printing pod to give us more steel, or for our rock crusher to be able to find us enough eggshells to make the lime, which we can then turn into steel. So either way would work, but we are kind of stuck until we get that far. So for now, we're just going to let them keep building, and that will be great. <clears throat> uh, we are researching... Uh, the ability to make glass and bunker doors because I was thinking I might want to actually have solar panels up here in space where they technically belong um, wouldn't be a bad thing in fact why don't we go ahead and queue that up while we're up here because we do have enough glass for one solar panel and I guess it doesn't terribly matter where it sits right as long as we can get at it to build it I suppose it can go right maybe there that might do Something like that, and that maybe. I'm just not sure if they're going to be able to build that far. Well, we'll see. Have to wait and see, because there is, of course, no oxygen out here whatsoever, and there's it's very very cold. So we don't have spacesuits yet. So this is not likely a very pleasant. Uh, <laughs> Not a very pleasant construction job. All right, let's see if we can find steel. That is what we are looking for mostly. Uh, we'll go through pretty quick here. Or lime would also do it. Uh, more glass would be nice, but that's not what we need right this second. What we need right this second is steel or lime, please. Uh, if I don't find it very, very soon, I'll able to pause until I do find it. Okay, I shall be right back. And I'm back. The very next click was lime. It's like it knew or something. <laughs> anyway, with that lime, we will be able to just bash out some steel directly. And that'll be fine. Not a problem. That will not take them very long. Wait, why are we getting circuit overload still? Why? Oh, we still have some. I thought I did all the wire. Did I miss some? I clearly missed some. You're not even connected to anything. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Isn't that silly? An old piece of unconnected wire, and it was not even doing anything, and it was still complaining. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, with that last bit of steel, you should now be allowed to come here. There we go. Build that. Perfect. So now we can start digging all this out. And we're going to be very careful about this. Make very sure we don't uh, get anybody roasted in here. square there should be safe because it should be this square right here is the one that has to go last because that's the one that I'm pretty sure governs when this thing starts so as soon as somebody digs these then you can ask them to dig that and that should do the trick hopefully thank you absurdities that's fantastic work now get out of there before this thing goes off Oh, it's officially dormant anyway. Do we have time to get an analyze in here then while it's dormant? We don't know. But that would be very helpful. 
either way, as far as I'm concerned, you are ready to go. Now you are saying pipe is blocked. Why is your pipe blocked? Oh, this is over pressure. Right. Right. Okay. Um, no, I don't think we can do high pressure gas vents. Yeah, they require plastics in addition to whatever metal. Hmm. Okay. So that's not ideal. Uh, how do I fix that easily? I don't really have anywhere that's got a vacuum. I think the pressure down here is very high everywhere, isn't it? Well, poop. <laughs> hmm, okay. Well, let's see here. Because um, we have oxygen coming down here. That's going to be the gas line. So where can I shunt this ox? This well, it's generally going to be oxygen. Yeah, I don't really have any good. Do I really need to send it all the way here to space? I mean, I could. That's definitely an option, not a preferred option. But yeah, look at the pressure everywhere. Even up here, where it's considered weak, it's still very high. Alright, well, I guess we're going to have to drag a humongously long pipe then. This is not ideal, but I think we don't have any choice. I guess I can just run along there. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Okay. Well, let's get started then. some stuff here. You go there, and across there, and up here, across there. Um, yeah, and then we'll just dump it out, out here somewhere. So anywhere up here really doesn't matter. This is the one spot that won't have a whole lot of pressure, so... Let's just dump it there. Actually, we'll do it there, I guess. So we're not going to bother this planet. There we go. Okay. Well, that's a great deal more <laughs> time before this runs than I was hoping. Alright, Stinky. Let's see what we can figure out here. And if we have time, let's also grab all this stuff from inside here, if there's time. There may not be, I don't know, but we shall see. Hopefully there is. Hopefully there is. Okay, so that takes a whole lot longer than I remember. You're getting there. You're about half done, it looks like. Okay. I will leave you to it for a bit then, buddy. Let's have a look and see what else is happening around here. Yeah, I'm deliberately not digging this out to let the map access to this until this is done. I do want to see this happen first. I probably should have prioritized it above all this but anyway <laughs> that's neither here nor there but as far as I can tell this is just what's left in fact why don't we just go ahead and have them finish that because that is all that's left of this part 
So I can only see if that works or not. So I'm assuming this pipe is completely done. It certainly looks like it should be. And it would work a lot better if I plugged it in correctly, wouldn't it? Wow. What was I doing? I had it hooked up to the output. Wow. That was dumb. <laughs> all right, just get all that done, please. Thank you so much. So how many episodes have you guys been screaming at me in the, at your monitors? <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright. So food is still slipping a little bit, but it's fine. A little bit of germs, but not bad. And oxygen is good. Okay. Very, very good. Over there now, I can't see the progress bar on that, but it looks like it's very close to being done. Okay, we'll give you a little bit more time. We'll keep checking out what's happening up here. There is our glassworks. Excellent. Uh, what should we research next? Actually, I'm going to deliberately not pick a research because I want Stinky, because he's the same guy that does the analysis. I want him to work on that first. So that's his number one job. 745,000 task priority. Okay. <laughs> That's a cool way of deciding how you do it. Alrighty. You're almost there. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Gotta be getting close now, don't you? There you go. Let's get that out of there. Thank you. Alright, so analysis is complete. So, um, every 118 cycles. Okay, so this thing runs for 60 days and then it's off for 50. So, this is a very, very slow. And we have 36 days before it's going to be off again. Okay. Then I guess we're not going to worry too much about that. Oh, it looks like our airflow pipe here is more or less done. Is it done all the way to space? Certainly looks like it. Or well, I guess not out to space, but out to this gap over here. Cool, okay. Is there somebody coming? Yep, somebody's coming to work on this now. Excellent. Oh, the second they open this door to get at this, it considers it an invalid location. Okie dokie. All right. Um. So how do we fix that without completely gutting this? I guess we let them dig out here and then I'll just put a new door in. After the fact. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We can work around this. We can do this. And we have a new skill point. Uh, you are a super digger. So you may as well be even better at it, right? Is that called hazmat digging? There you go. Absurdities, you get a new hat. 
There you go. And thank you again for joining my Patreon. If anyone else is interested in having someone named after them, please feel free to check out my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Very cool. Okay, so now, all things being equal, you should be able to stand here to work on this. And in fact, why don't we temporarily lock this to make sure they don't accidentally open it while trying to work on this. It's kind of cheating a little bit, but I think it may help. Yeah, if they're standing here, they should be able to work on this without any difficulty. And they still think it's unreachable. All right. Um, problem on this side or this side? I'm not sure. Could be any of these, really. Let's get it done. Let's get that done, please. Because I definitely do want to see this happen. It's hard to breathe up here in space, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. Okay, so this is now reachable. You're on your way. In fact, you're already here. And now this is reachable. Okay. So when that's done, I'll plunk... Take this ladder out and plunk a new... Actually, I guess I could just put a tile there, I guess, for all the difference it would make, right? Yeah, let's just plunk a tile there when that's done. There we go. Okay. So, water is now available to come in. One last paranoia check. Yes. It all comes down from here. This all looks fine. And in fact, it's already on the way. Perfect. So right now the water coming up is not terribly in need of cooling anyway. It's like 20 odd degrees, but so this is more proof of concept than anything. But but I do want to make sure that this works before we do anything with this. So you're still loading in. I can't help but notice that the temperature is not falling. Which means this may not be working. That is highly disappointing. After all that, my slushy machine is not going to work. That is incredibly disappointing. You definitely have space exposure, for sure. I guess because there is no atmosphere to, for the cold. Hmm. I wonder if that means then I could get away with you doing a tuner. Um, uh, where was it? The uh, Aqua Tuner. Is that on the base? Search for it. Yeah, the Thermal Aqua Tuner. Because you'll cool the liquid coming in and then output the heat, but there's nowhere for the heat to go. So either that will work really well or this thing will just melt almost instantly. <laughs> and I'm not sure which it's going to be. Hmm. Well, let's just try it. Right? That's all we can do. So 
if I plug that, they now do it here. Right? some of this, right? So you will come in here and I'll have you coming back out. We'll deal with that after. Um, in fact, actually for now, just stay in the reservoir. That's fine. I just want to see if this actually will do anything. However, uh, we are going to have to do that in the next episode because we are running out of time for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next episode. Have a good one. See ya.